Teaching future generations the importance of conservation and responsible land management is very important for the quality of life in Georgia and our overall economy. One private landowner recently opened up his tree farm so a group of teachers could learn more about the forest industry in Georgia. In Georgia, you do not have to look far to see a lot of this. Timber stands towering in the Georgia sun. For some, it is a site that is taken for granted. But to Georgia, it equates to a lot of money. We do have 24 million acres of forest land here in Georgia uh, that provide 118,000 jobs and are out there providing that clean air and clean water for the benefit of all Georgia citizens. Each year, the state's economy benefits from the forest industry, and making sure all of Georgia's natural resources are managed properly will soon fall to the next generation. That's why recently the Georgia Forestry Association, along with its partners, held a workshop to educate the educators on just how the forestry industry operates. Throw me a guess. Big K Farm in Jones County welcomed the group of teachers from around Georgia, and the farm's manager, Lynn Hooven, explained just how the land is managed for timber and to enhance wildlife populations. But the biggest advantage is that you're teaching the teachers. You know, a lot of times it can be a misconception about um, Oh, timber growing, burning, and everything that you do in the forest. So there's an opportunity for us to give our side of the story, if you will. Two former Atlanta Braves baseball players, Ryan Klesko and John Smoltz, own the farm, and they have been very accommodating to educational groups over the years. We feel that we're, we're opportunity uh, presents it. We're always going to have people out here learning about the outdoors. And, of course, it wasn't, if it wasn't for somebody from, for like my father or uh, my uncle taking me out in the outdoors and showing me what's out here, I'd probably be... You know, I, I probably wouldn't even have this farm this day. So uh, it's all about sharing. It's all about stewardship. It's all about the land, uh, the animals, and stuff like that. So I, I get really excited when it comes uh, to be able to uh, share what we have, what we've been blessed with, to other people. For many of these teachers, this is their first opportunity to see the forest industry up close. And for some, it has been very eye-opening. Our students need to learn about the outdoors, wildlife. Uh, so many of our students will not see tree farms, will not see a forest. And with the early childhood kids that I'll be teaching, a lot of vocabulary will have to become from just knowing what a forest is and explaining that to them. I think it's uh, definitely important um, because it, it, it teaches our, our young people and, and generations thereafter to be more self-sufficient. Um, to take care of what we have, to manage it in a way where it will sustain generations to come. One highlight of the tour was a visit from a Forestry Commission helicopter, which gave a demonstration of an aerial water drop. The helicopter, along with support from a small aircraft, is critical to fighting wildfires. The workshop is a week-long event that exposes them to many different areas of the industry. The teachers will get the benefit of receiving recertification credits and we will all get the benefit of knowing the next generation is being taught the importance of this very large Georgia industry. When you as a teacher have a personal experience and you start talking, something changes in the classroom. The kids are more alert, they're more interested, they, it's something that they're going to pay attention to because you're speaking from experience, we're not speaking from a book. Reporting for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.